former French President Giscard d'Estaing has died from COVID-19. Paris former French President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, who ruled France from 1974 to 1981 with a dash of modernity, died on Wednesday at the age of 94 from COVID-19, his family announced. The youngest president of the Fifth Republic when he was elected, 48 years old, in 1974, centrist Valéry Giscard d'Estaing had been hospitalized several times in recent months for heart problems. During his mandate until 1981, he had a modernizing action on the country, promulgating important social reforms, such as the authorization of voluntary termination of pregnancy, abortion, or the lowering of the right to vote to 18 years. He was also the first non gaullist president of the Fifth Republic, after the emblematic General de Gaulle and his political heir Georges Pompidou. He was also a fervent European, working with his friend Chancellor Helmut Schmidt to keep the Franco-German engine running, or in the 2000s when he chaired the Convention for Europe with a view to establishing, aborted, the European Constitution. His taste for international affairs led him to be the father of meetings of the G7, the club of industrialized countries. Valéry Giscard d'Estaing will have worked all his life to strengthen links between European nations, sought and succeeded in modernizing political life and devoted his great intelligence to the analysis of the most complex international issues, said the former right-wing president Nicolas Sarkozy paying tribute to him in a message posted on social networks. France loses a statesman who has chosen to open up to the world, regretted another former president, socialist François Hollande, in a statement. The European ideal loses one of its founders, France, a president who brought it modernity and daring, said the president of the National Assembly Richard Ferrand. Breaking with the solemn style of his predecessors, BGE had adopted modern postures and wanted to be close to people, at the risk of exposing himself to demagogic trials as when he invited himself to dinner with a French or played. Of the accordion. One mandate. He had served only one seven-year term, beaten by the socialist François Mitterrand in 1981 after a second part of his mandate marked by the economic and business crisis, such as that of the Bocassade diamonds. A figure in French political life, the incarnation of the center-right and collector of Gaullism, Mr. Giscard d'Estaing was elected to the Élysée in May 1974 at the age of 48. He was then the youngest French president since Louis-Napoleon Bonaparte. For entire generations especially for those who got involved with him in their youth, he brought a great wind of modernity to French society and gave birth to immense hope for going beyond and coming together. Reacted to AFP François Bayrou, who took his first steps in politics with him and who was his successor at the head of the centrist party UDF, and according to whom there remains the immense memory of intelligence and shared laughter, and at the same time as a great nostalgia. After his defeat, VGE remained a center-right figure before fading from the French political landscape in the 1990s and returned to it in 2001 by taking the head of the Convention for Europe, responsible for drafting a constitution. European Union, which will be rejected by referendum, 55% no, in 2005. One of his last public appearances dates back to September 30, 2019, during the funeral in Paris of another president of the Republic, Jacques Chirac, who was his prime minister from 1974 to 1976. After being hospitalized several times recently, his state of health had deteriorated and he died of COVID-19, his family said in a statement sent to AFP, specifying that his funeral was will take place in the strictest family privacy. He also made headlines in May, the subject of a sexual assault investigation, after a complaint by a German journalist. The latter accused him of having touched her buttocks in an interview more than a year earlier.